So veterans who served in the Vietnam era oftentimes were deployed to Thailand in, effort, in support of the war efforts in Vietnam. And it's pretty accepted at this point in time that Agent Orange and different defoliants were used throughout Thailand, uh, Malaysia, Vietnam, Korea. But specifically, I wanna focus on Thailand for a second. There's a report that came out known as the Chico, C-H-E-C-O, the Chico report. Uh, when I say came out, it was declassified. It's a 1973 report. Um, I, wanna, I wanna talk to that report, but I wanna explain, before we speak about the report, I wanna explain why that report's relevant. When a veteran's claiming service connection for a condition they believe is attributable to Agent Orange, the VA's created a list of different conditions that if you're exposed, they will concede service connection for that condition. Uh, for example, let's say a veteran has prostate cancer. If the veteran has prostate cancer and can demonstrate that he was exposed to chemical defoliants to include Agent Orange, and specifically Agent Orange, uh, then his service connection for prostate cancer will be conceded. So in Thailand, that presumption is not automatic. In Thailand, a veteran needs to demonstrate that he served near the perimeter of the base. Um, this doesn't make sense to me. Uh, veterans who served in Vietnam can be five, 10 miles off the coast and they get service connection for it if they served in the Navy. It stands to reason that a veteran who was 100 feet in but not on the perimeter would also be uh, exposed to the same type of uh, exposure of Agent Orange, but that's neither here nor there today. Uh, but nonetheless, a veteran it's the legal burden of showing he was exposed to Agent Orange is overcome if he can show that he served on or near the border. Or alternatively, if he can show he was a military policeman or security forces, or that he was a dog handler, or that he worked as a guard on the perimeter, and that the job classification shows that a DD-214 supports that, personnel records show that, then he doesn't need to prove he worked near the border. It's assumed and it's conceded by the VA. But that's usually the exception. Most people weren't in those job classifications and frankly a lot of people were taken from other jobs and put as security you uh, know in, in a combat Thailand uh, combat type of setting uh, setting so the uphill battle is proving service near the perimeter well this Chico report to bring it full circle here this Chico report which stands for contemporary historical examination of current operations contemporary historical examination of current operations uh, it's a mouthful but what it is, is it's a 1973 review during the Vietnam efforts and during the uh, Pacific War efforts. It was a review by Department of Defense officials of base um, defense postures. Uh, there's a host of Chico reports, but the one in particular that's made it big and the reason we're talking about Chico, the reason anyone talks about Chico today is because it focuses on the amount of chemical defoliants and Agent Orange used around the Thailand bases. And so it's, it's a very helpful tool for a veteran to demonstrate that he was in fact exposed to Agent Orange and the amount of Agent Orange and tactical defoliants used around the bases in Thailand. Um, so it's been, it was, you know, the irony is it was, the, the report was published in 1973. It was declassified, the, declassif the declassification date's not clear. Um, 1981, 1989, there's different dates, but um, it's certainly declassified today. And because it's been declassified for the first time, Department of Defense, I'm sorry, veterans are able to utilize that report to their benefit in order to prove Agent Orange exposure. And so it's a quick Google, Chico Report Thailand. You Google it, you're gonna find probably 100 links with the report because it's, it's become quite a popular report. If you're representing yourself, and you served in Thailand, do yourself a favor and pull that report and, and find the base you actually served at and uh, try to reference that report in your argument to the court system uh, because it, it can help. Uh, we've, we've won quite a few cases arguing such and I recommend you do the same. And um, getting to the proving you served near the perimeter, not only do you need to show that there was Agent Orange used on the base, but if you're trying to prove you served near the the perimeter of the base, maybe do yourself a favor, print some maps up of the base. They're readily available through some searches. Some different uh, veteran organizations try to keep archives of such, but do your due diligence. Find yourself a map of this base and print it up. Get a big print. If you're gonna go to a BVA hearing, get big print, prints of these maps of the base, overhead aerial views of the base, and be prepared to talk about, I served right here. 
and point to the map for a judge. Now, if it's done on a video conference, you can still do the same thing. Put the big map up and point to the perimeters that you served. Uh, we've done this routinely, and I've been told from multiple judges it's the best hearing they've had, and it was such a simple presentation. You simply have the veteran speak to where they serve near the perimeter, and you can see the base outline. The perimeter outlines on most aerial maps because there's a road that goes around most of the bases. Uh, some of the barracks were on the perimeter. If you, if you slept in the barracks on the perimeter, you, know, you, could, you could win your case, you would think. Um, so with these Agent Orange Thailand cases, um, reference a Chico report if you have the ability and get yourself a map. Get, get lay statements from friends who worked with you in the military, who served with you, and have them say, yeah, we're on the perimeter routinely. Uh, give yourself a sworn statement and submit it to the VA. Uh, perhaps the personnel records and different records demonstrate in your active duty records. Maybe those records demonstrate that you're near the perimeter. Think outside the box, uh, do your due diligence, and I suspect things fall in line, uh, but use the map. And uh, bring it full circle yet again, the Chico report. Find the base you are located and speak to it.